All right, guys, Grumpy is back, and today we're going to be talking about TOTP. What is that? It's time-based one-time passwords. This standard is used primarily for multi-factor authentication services such as email or websites or any other online systems that you may need to authenticate to. TOTP provides a second layer of authentication by generating a random string of numbers that is synchronized um, using time and based on a provided initial key from the host service. Now, I don't want to get into too much into the technical details of how TOTP works. There are plenty of resources out there. And if you really want to know the, uh, how the protocol and the math works, um, you can go check it out on Wikipedia or just go search for it. Rather, this video is mainly focused on the fact that you do not have to use the suggested Google Authenticator or Microsoft Authenticator apps to get this to work. TOTP is a widely used standard and you can use many apps to get the job done. In this video, I'm going to focus on a free and open source alternative that has great features and is my daily driver. Let's run through some basics. Looking at and OTP on the F-Droid store, we can see that it is free and open source. It supports encrypted storage, plain text backups, encrypted backups using OpenPGP, although that's just one option. Uh, minimalistic design, great usability, and compatible with Google Authenticators. And also here, uh, which is key, requires minimal permissions. It comes with the standard uh, features of camera access for scanning QR codes and storage access for importing and exporting of the database. And it is licensed under the MIT license. As you may or may not know, keeping the profile for your TOTP services is extremely important. Let's say you're using your phone as your TOTP device and you lose your phone. This can be a huge problem. This is why it's important to do two things. First, if possible, always try to set up multiple methods of multi-factor authentication, such as a hardware-based token and TOTP. So if you lose your phone, you can still get into your account using the physical token. Now, if you can't set up or don't want to set up an additional method of multi-factor authentication, then you do run the risk of potentially being locked out of a service or account due to the fact that you may not be able to provide the second factor, such as losing your phone. So it's extremely important to back up your TOTP data. And with AND OTP, this ability is baked in. You can choose from unencrypted backups, uh, and this saves it as a plain text JSON file, or encrypted backups that are either password protected and also uh, as stated in the F-Droid listing there, there is also an open PGP option if you prefer that type of crypto. Let's dig in a little bit more and check out AND OTP. As you can see, this is the home screen. And once you have set up some TOTP accounts, this is where they will all be listed. For known services, it will also display a handy icon on the left-hand side. From here, you have options of copying the password and via the menu, the three dots on the side of each uh, TOTP entry, you can change the image or show the QR code associated with the entry or just, just remove it altogether. That orange bar at the top is a visual representation of how much time is left before the passwords will change. Now, going into settings is where we really can customize this app. Now, many of these options are self-explanatory, so I will just go over some of the more important ones. Okay, so firstly, authentication. This is where you can set if you want to require authentication to open the app. And here we see there are a few options. If you use it often, you may want to choose something less invasive. Okay, panic trigger. This is for the serious tinfoil hat guys out there, but yes, if you need it, it's here. You can set a panic trigger to wipe your accounts and reset the app settings. Maybe someone's got a gun pointed to your head, or maybe someone is about to have a gun pointed to your head. Database encryption. So this is uh, here you can select from the Android key store or just set a manual password. Default backup location. Now choose wisely when selecting this. I suggest the backups are stored off the phone, maybe on your local network or some encrypted cloud storage somewhere. Backup password, this is pretty uh, self-explanatory. Moving into the backup settings, we see that we have an option of plain text backups uh, in a JSON format or encrypted. Choose wisely here. It's not always a bad thing to have them unencrypted, uh, but just make sure you know where they are and maybe they can sit on encrypted storage. So that pretty much wraps it up for AND OTP, my TOTP app of choice. AND TOTP is available from the F-Droid store or Google Play. And if you like it, remember to drop the developer a donation. Keep supporting open source, and I'll see you in the next one.